We couldn't bring cameras into the Caddo courtroom, so we enlisted the help of a sketch artist to help us capture the emotion. Jonathan Robinson, who is accused of killing his ex-girlfriend, Renita Nunu Williams, last month during a Facebook Live video, sat with his hands and feet in chains while his family sat stoically in the front row. Dozens of Williams' loved ones were also there, wearing t-shirts with her name and picture on them. Robinson is also accused of shooting at several police officers and hitting one of them. So it's important to point out that there was also a big police presence in the courtroom, about 10 uniformed officers. Robinson got emotional as Shreveport Police Sergeant Jeff Brown testified, walking that crowded courtroom through what happened the morning of April 12th. When Brown got to the moment of the shooting, Robinson started crying and shaking. And when Brown said Robinson confessed to the murder of Nunu Williams, Robinson got so emotional, he jumped up from his chair and fell to the ground. Officers had to hold him down and at times console him. That's also about the time Williams' family left the courtroom in tears. They declined comment. Judge Ramona Emanuel, who at one point had to tell people in the courtroom to calm down, set Robinson's arraignment for June 19th. But this case is expected to be turned over to a grand jury before then. However it turns out, Jonathan, uh, just keep your head up, man. Um, there are some people out here that know that you were driven to this. You know, there are some people out here that know that you were manipulated by some of these black women out here. There are some people out here that know, who know that had you not gotten involved with these black women, you would not be in the situation you're in. So keep your head up um, and let everything run its course. But one thing we do know is you will definitely not get the death penalty, that's for sure. Uh, because it is a second degree murder case. And with any luck, um, you will receive a sentence that will give you the opportunity to walk the streets again one day. So, um, you know, just for the, for the black man that's watching, look at this and learn. Watch and learn. If Jonathan, had, <coughs> if Jonathan had not gotten involved uh, with these black women, he would not be on the news right now. His life would be just as it was prior to all of this drama. Uh, he was already turning his life around. He had three years under his belt where he didn't, wasn't you know, in any connection with the law. He was on the right path. You know, um, so don't let these black women destroy your lives. You know, they will do it. If, it's, if they're not good at anything else, they do have the ability to make sure, one, you're locked up in jail, two, you're locked up in prison, three, you're being accused of this, that, the other, Four, when they played a victim role, you pay the consequences. Um, five, putting all their uh, pressures and dramas and insecurities and low self-esteem and somehow displacing all of that on you. And at the end of the day, I can tell you who's going to pay the price for all of their issues. You are. While they walk the streets and find another victim. And the cycle will continue and continue and continue. They do the same things and expect a different outcome. It's just that in this situation, this is not the outcome they were expecting. You won't be the last Jonathan Robinson that is a victim of them. You're not the first and you definitely won't be the last. They've been doing this for years and, and, and decades. So, 
use your head. There's more women in the world than black women. Chinese women ain't gonna have you in this situation. White women not gonna have you in this situation. Latin William women aren't gonna have you in this situation. They'll walk away. Just like they found you, they'll walk away before they leave you in this situation. Black women are not able to do that. They do not have the mental capacity to do that. They're gonna make sure you pay. The only thing is, in this instance, one of the black women paid as well.